Welcome back to the Sports Wrap with our insider Andy Gresh. Brady Manning, 17. How pumped are you? <laughs> no, it's a great rivalry. Here's the reason I'm not like, yeah, over it. Is because Peyton Manning throws like my mom now. Ooh. And that's the problem. With all due respect to Mama Gresh. No, she sucks and she knows it. <laughs> she can't throw nothing. She threw eggs at me once when I was a kid because I wouldn't shut up. Hit me with a frying pan and all that. Jeez. Just saying. Like, she can't, you know, it'd be like if I threw left-handed, you know? But today, he, You know who he is? He wants to, he wishes he was Uncle Rico. I can throw a ball quarter mile. That's what Peyton Manning wishes he was. Bill Belichick said today, I will never, ever, ever underestimate Peyton Manning. He's been burned too many times. And do you know why? Because he is the beautiful mind. Let's face it. What is Peyton Manning's best quality right now? He's it's a mine. thinker. He anticipates. He reads coverage very well, which is the reason why the Patriots need to mix up coverage, give him different looks, and bring people from different angles. Between the ears, he's as sharp as he's ever been. When it comes to the arm, it might as well be like an uh, inflatable phlegm waveling tube guy. <laughs> Seriously, because his arm is like this. I love those things. So you assume the Patriots are going to keep every, everyone between 15 yards of the line of scrimmage and just kind of crowd the box? You know, it's interesting, and that's a good point. Here's what I think they do. Look, they're not going to let Demarius Thomas get off. They can't let that happen. I think what you got to do is take away the throws in between the hashes. Take away the throws in the middle of the field and force Peyton Manning to have to really strain to get the ball out and to throw it on the outside. That also means it sets you up to load up against the run. So, you know, I admit, I'm even right now, I'm debating what's number one, making sure Demarius doesn't beat you or making sure yeah. the run game doesn't beat you. And Yanni, I think it's going to be the run game. Pack it in, force them to throw it outside, force them to throw it to the flats, and then swarm to the football. And it's rare to prepare nowadays in 2016 for a team that prioritizes the run because no one really sure. does that anymore. And let's remember, too, there's a lot of movement and a lot of play action off their a run game. A lot of game. play action. I'll have to check the tape, but I'm pretty sure prior to last year, so maybe 13 or 14, okay. you were in the camp that Manning was better than Brady. Yeah. Do you still feel that way? No. Uh, look, the fact that Tom Brady is doing something that he doesn't get credit for, which is amazing. Do you remember when Brett Favre went to Minnesota? Yeah. He became the mythical unicorn at 40. <laughs> it was, where the hell is this from? He had an unbelievable season. Look, Peyton Manning towards the end of his career, it's breaking down. Tom Brady, mm -hmm. better than ever at 38 years old. So it's got to start to shift to his favor. And I heard someone say this the other day, and I really think they nailed it. Peyton Manning transformed the game of football because he took the no huddle and jacked it up to the next level. What Tom Brady is doing, however, at 38 is nothing like we've ever seen right. before. Strap on the unicorn horn. That's Tom Brady right now at this age. I mean, four to one Super Bowls, it's no comparison. Let's just say Teams Manning win wins. Super Bowls, though. Okay, let's say Manning wins yeah. and wins the Super Bowl. Becomes okay. four to two. He has a 3-1 edge over Brady AFC Championship games. Has all the personal stats. Sure. Is it a conversation again? Yeah, it might be a little bit, but let's remember. I don't think if the Broncos win this game, it's going to be on the back of Peyton right. Manning going 30-35 for 340 and four touchdowns. I think if they win it, it's totally different. So, And what's interesting about this is the argument that happened at the beginning of Brady's career when everybody was like, oh, my God, he's great. He threw for like 150 yards and two touchdowns, yeah. and he was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Teams win championships, and teams win games. The quarterback matchups are flashy, but if they win, meaning Denver, it's not going to be on the back of Manning. And if the Patriots win, it's going to be more than just Tom Brady doing their job. Let me ask you one more question about Manning. If he is playing really, really poorly, does Gary Kubiak have the chutzpah yep. to bench him? Oh, absolutely. Look, he kind of sat him down once. I don't think that's a question. Look, there's no sentimentality from Gary Kubiak. Why was he brought in by John Elway? To get past this point. And they all know that. So it's all hands on deck. And if Manning can't get it done, yeah, they go to Osweiler. Look, the two biggest guys to watch for this week for the Patriots, Collins, Hightower. When Hightower was out, they ran well. When mm -hmm. Collins wasn't in there, Osweiler was able right. to make throws over the middle of the field. Those are the two key paths to watch for this week. And both were at practice today. We'll talk about the uh, November game and the AFC Championship game of two years ago tomorrow on the Sports Wrap. Uh, for now, let's go to a break. Gresh? You had no idea how to get out of that, did you? <laughs>
Uh, the fat guy's done, so we'll go away, <laughs> and I'll come back with something. Eyewitness News at 10 on Fox Providence Returns in the sports wrap segment of the portion. Right after Segment this. of the portion? What is wrong with you? Are you a professional? What are you, Petraka? <laughs> I'm going to put you over at Weather and put Tony over here. It'd be smooth. All right, you want to take us to break, Rush? Sure. More next. <laughs> <laughs> 